beautiful morning. Got my two neighbors there. Nice sailboat. That mast has to be at least 80 feet. It is 6.30. So not to waste a lot of time today, I'm gonna start breakfast quick. And I'm gonna head to the uh, fishing spot I had yesterday. See if I can catch more fish. It is high tide already. So I'm gonna start breakfast real quick now. All right, same breakfast as yesterday. I didn't bring that much difference of uh, breakfast. So two eggs, three bacons, and two toast. That should keep me good till like two o'clock. See the guy there, he's exercising his elbow. And meanwhile, he's exercising. I am getting a lot of calories and cholesterol. I think he's doing it right. All right. Time to go fishing. Let me warm up that engine. Okay, I'm not going that far. I'm just gonna go about a mile where I uh, last was fishing. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Gonna be some big waves today, boy. Now I need to look for my structure drop off. That's it. Here comes the drop off. Look at that 200 feet right away. That's it, we're marked. Went from 114 to 200 and a couple of feet more this way will be 300 that's what I'll be throwing my uh, bait at so really quick from 100 to 300 
right, there's some sharks on here. I'm gonna turn the shark shield on and see if the shark shield works. Okay, keep attention. Right around here when the shark appears. There he is. It's coming. He went that way. Hopefully he'll come back around to this side here. Here it comes. Right there. Yep, there it goes. He did not like it. He goes right over there. He's coming back. Check him out. Right there. Yep, he does not like it. Somehow that fish did not survive. But there's a shark right under it. Look at that. The shark just swallowed it. Well, I'm gonna eat something because it's, it's almost uh, it was 12 p.m. and I have not caught anything worth keeping. Today is a terrible day to fish. Terrible thing to fish. I'm very disappointed. What can you do? I'm very disappointed. I don't know what I'm bringing here, but it's pretty heavy. Gotta be a rock. It'll take a long time like this. Whatever I'm bringing up is really heavy, it's not a fish. up here whatever it is super heavy what is this this is ridiculous I don't get it I have a fish on the line I don't know what else I have there I don't know what's holding the line. And there's the weight. I see the weight and everything. It goes nice pull. Woo! It's 
little fish. Walk past that. Oh, that is a retired pole. So now, once I get back home, I can tell people that, look, the big fish broke my pole. Alright. I'm done. Look at the shark down there. Alright, I'm going to retire this right now. I'm gonna call it time of death. One o'clock. it early retirement I only had this pole for about probably maybe a year or less I'm gonna use the reel again I'm just gonna get another pole probably the same one because this one's been pretty good to me all right I'm at 32 feet and I'm going to try to get some trigger fish to take back home. Uh, my family likes trigger fish, so I'm going to bring some to them. Shouldn't be that hard to catch them right here at 30 feet. I'm trying to fish here next to the rock. See what happens there by the rock. I know it's got to be a small fish. That's what it is. Well, going back to Honeymoon Harbor. All right, I'm gonna take a little break now and. I'll continue this trip in the next video. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe. I'm going to take the half of this day and just relax. No more fishing. Fishing is done for today.